Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. It's Mel from Raw Nourishment here and today I'm super excited to answer one of your questions that was featured over on my Instagram account under the picture that says continue to make better choices. Now I was going through all of these beautiful comments and even though this wasn't a Q&A post, I had someone write a really, really important question um, that I thought I need to share with you. So this one is from Caitlin Ramsbeck. And she says, Mel, I watched your video where you talked about loving yourself and making more time for self-love practices. It made me realize how poorly I've been treating my body. I'm sure she's not the only one. I was wondering, what do you do for a job? I'm in school and can't seem to make time for myself and find myself pretty miserable. I'm not able to get much sleep and don't want to spend the next three years of my life not enjoying. Any advice on what's the most important things for me to try to incorporate into my life? I'm sure affirmations are a big one. You're such a beautiful soul and you bring inspiration to my life and ground me and I feel like, when I feel like I've lost hope, you are amazing, Mel. Well, thank you so much for that beautiful questions and comments. That was really, really lovely. Now, to answer this, you're saying that you're not making yourself a priority. And do you really want to get to the stage where you're sick and your body is filled with disease and you know then you are forced to make time for yourself? Wouldn't you rather be proactive and take a preventable approach to help you on your journey to become your greatest version? Yeah, I know you're probably nodding your head right now and you're like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Well, it does. Everyone on this planet has 24 hours in every single day. Not some of us have longer than others, so it's what you do with those hours that truly count. I know you're busy, and I've been there. January was a pure example. I have never been so busy in my life. I was working more than what I was when I was at uni, and I was juggling like two jobs. So I know that things are crazy for you, but what you need to do is to take a step back, and then I want you to think about, you know, what things do you love to do? And they are going to be starting to form part of your self-love practices list. Now, I have some practical action that's going to help you on your journey to become your greatest version. Because I know sometimes we get a little bit stuck. So, are you ready? I've got four tips to help you. Tip number one is to re-watch my self-love practice video and how to feel beautiful. Those two videos I've linked just here so you can check them out. Please save them in your favorites or to watch later because this is going to be a reference tool that is going to continually motivate you because I don't want you getting to those stages where you're like, oh, I can't do it anymore and blah, blah, blah. No, I don't even want you to get to that stage. I want you to take practical action every single day. Step number two is to identify what are your self-love practices. What actually makes you feel good? Start compiling a list and write them down. Step number three is to exchange one bad habit that you have for a self-love practice. So for me on my journey, what I've done is I've switched up maybe a food that I've eaten or when I'm waking up in the morning, I'm going to you know, start work straight away because I work truly at my best at 5 a.m. in the morning. And then I'm like, okay, so what am I gonna do now? My next self-love practice is to then meditate or to exercise or to have a breakfast and make it presented really beautifully. Part B is actually timetabling where you're gonna make that fit into your schedule. You know, I timetable when I'm exercising, when I'm meditating, when I'm having a cup of tea in my fancy cup. Let me show you. Isn't she lovely? Isn't this cute? I've actually already just had a cup of tea. But this is so cute, I picked this up from an op shop for like $2.50. So that's one of my self-love practices, is to make time to have a cup of tea with a teapot and just to take time to enjoy it. So timetable it. And step four is to repeat the whole process for the rest of your life because it's going to help you on your journey to become your greatest version. Well, I hope this has answered your questions and I hope that you're feeling a little bit better. Remember to take practical actions. Let me just quickly go over those four steps. Rewatch my self-love videos. Identify your self-love practices. Exchange one bad habit for a self-love practice. The second part of that is to timetable it and step four, repeat the whole process for the rest of your life. Well, there you go, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Remember, continue to make better choices than the day before because it's going to help you on your journey to become your greatest version. I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Sending you so much love and light and inspiration and motivation Get cracking on your self-love practices because you know what? It's going to make you feel amazing. And when you feel amazing, you won't be feeling so overwhelmed with life and you won't be thinking about, oh, I'm going to be miserable for three years. 
impossible. Smile every day, the world is going to be a better place because you're in it. I love you guys.